Loud and Noxious here calling the action between, uh, to my knowledge, one of the only father-son tag teams in all of professional wrestling. That is Hawks Airy. Luke and PJ Hawks. We saw them on Wednesday night at the Bootleg Theater. Tonight, here they are in Baldwin Park. And the team of Ryan Taylor and Eric Watts, of course, a formidable team in their own right. Uh, Ryan Taylor comes to the ring to the sounds of Godzilla, while Eric Watts is kind of a real life monster in some ways. So they're uh, pretty well matched up. And now, PJ Hawks going hold for hold with Ryan. Ryan Taylor in the ring, and that's, that's no small feat. This youngster, PJ Hawks, I mean, imagine, imagine learning from your own dad. Imagine traveling the roads, up and down the highways, soaking in all that knowledge the whole time. I mean, it, there's got to be a, no other uh, wrestling, like, there's no other wrestling lesson can equal that. PJ Hawks, he's very impressive. I actually do. I actually don't know the exact age of this young man. Uh, he can't be. He can't be more than 18, 19, 18, 19, 20. I doubt he's that old, but uh, it's obvious that uh, these two have a, str a strong bond, being a, a father and son team. Uh, whenever you've got a family member as your tag team partner, there's an added bond there. There's almost another degree of trust that goes into it. Ryan Taylor, I mean, he's, he can get you in so many different ways because he he's a strong competitor and he's very technically savvy, but he's also quite agile. He can do it all in that ring. He's got kind of an ideal wrestler's uh, physique, I guess you could say. And PJ Hawks now up there in no man's land. That's not where he wanted to be. Taylor drops him right on his face. And uh, he does the wise thing. He tags, he tags in his old father there. His old man, who's, who's not an old man at all, 
Lou Cox is still a very young man. Which makes this contest so much more interesting. You've got Luke Hawks, who's still in the prime of his career, but he's got so much knowledge, so much experience. And he's sharing it with his son and his opponents right now. Watts is not showing any intimidation. As, as rightfully so. I mean, Eric Watts, he's, he's a monster of a man. No respect. The Luke Hawks definitely on the, the receiving end of that lockup. Eric Watts has got a huge size advantage. Huge power advantage. As Luke Hawks bides his time here. Well, it doesn't seem like Eric Watts is very anxious to step in here and, to, and go hold for hold. He knows Luke Hawks has been around the block more than a few times. A couple of powerful shoulder blocks. Back and forth now, Luke Hawks shoulder blocks Eric Watts. Goes up, Eric Watts catches him in mid air. Power slam, right in the center of the ring. Hooks the leg. But Watts relinquishes the pinfall before he get before PJ could get into the ring. And another hard slam. Luke Hawks goes to the outside. Eric Watts is in looking from behind. He's not keeping his eyes on his opponents. PJ now in the ring with both of his opponents and thrown out into the arms of his fa awaiting father. They crashed into each other on the outside. Now what's Ryan gonna do? Tags in legally. Here comes Ryan Taylor, illegal Ryan Taylor. Watch out for Luke Cox. He's dangerous on the outside as well. Breaker. Well executed. You don't see that too much these days. Into a shoulder breaker. Luke Hawks busting out some old school wrestling maneuvers. Hooks the far leg, but doesn't get the three. PJ and Luke Hawks, the father and son tandem from New Orleans, Louisiana, with a double backbreaker, hooks the leg, and Taylor kicks right out. But you can see agonizing pain that he's in. It took everything he had to sort of wiggle his way out of there. We'll see what Ryan Taylor can do from this position here on the mat, where he appears to be trapped. Making his way back to a vertical base now. Ryan's just sort of slugging it with his way out of the corner. P.J. Hawks keeps him in there, keeps him in his own corner, his team's corner. Luke Hawks with possibly a neck breaker, perfectly executed, right in the center of the ring. It wasn't enough to get the job done, but it's just seeing a great, a great selection of classic wrestling moves from. Luke Hawks tonight with the back breakers and shoulder breakers and neck breakers. Kind of uh, kind of having fun. That's a suck it, ladies and gentlemen. You are instructed to take a shot when that happens here at Bar Wrestling. A 
suck it, the middle finger, the Stone Cold Stunner, all require a shot per time that it happens. Ryan Taylor all the way around connecting with that kick and makes the tag to Eric Watts. And Luke Hawks is in the ring. He is by himself. But he motions to the referee and gets himself a little bit of time. They buy themselves a little bit of time. And what a vertical drop kick by PJ Hawks. Very well executed. He's got a, a, a lot of vertical height. And he nailed it. Keeping Ryan Taylor now in their corner. Wrestling a very methodical, strategic match. Are the Hawks family, or Hawks Airy as they are called. Luke Hawks trepidatiously on that top rope. Drops, he drops. Double ax handle that doesn't quite get the job done. Crowd is not happy with Luke Hawks whatsoever. They are upset with his choice of wrestling maneuvers. Oh, Ryan Taylor catches Luke Hawks going for that top turnbuckle. Has he got him dazed enough to, yes! With a big throw off the top rope. Took its toll on both men. Will Ryan Taylor be able to make his way out of the corner? Is Luke gonna make it over to the corner? It looks like they might both make it simultaneously to their corners. Eric Watts now going full force on PJ Hawks. Who I'm not sure, I'm not sure he's got a full year of wrestling experience. I'm not, I'm not sure how much the, the, the kid's got. He's got a lot of heart, that's for sure getting in the ring with someone the size of Eric Watts. Who comes off the top turnbuckle, big clothesline. Covers him too. And the youngster, the son of Luke Hawks, PJ Hawks, kicking out of that Eric Watts clothesline from the top turnbuckle. Choke slam position. Luke there to make the save. The Patriarch making the save. Watts, double choke slam. Like father, like son. Hooks the leg. Does not get three. Eric Watts looking to put this one away. End this match if he can with both members of Hawks Airy now. Locked in, Luke spinning his way out. And another spinning kick catches Eric Watts. Could this be their opportunity as they hook the leg? Two, Eric Watts kicks out. Hawks Airy might be squandering their opportunity here to execute some sort of maybe double team, coup de gras. This would be their opportunity to do it. Eric Watts just powers out. Powers his way out and makes the tag. Ryan Taylor comes in hard with a knee strike. He is a powerful striker and he's an experienced striker as well. PJ Hawks taking over with ease. And wow, doesn't get any closer than that. Luke Hawks breaking up that pin. Luke Hawks throws Ryan Taylor into the ropes, catching Ryan Taylor. All the way around with a power slam combination. PJ's the legal man. There's the three count.